Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and I'm actually sitting at the vet waiting for them to bring one of my cats out to me. He had an appointment today. And so I just thought I'd jump on here and talk a little bit about some things that you should absolutely not be doing when you are walking your dog. Mistakes that I am seeing so many people make, and it's a little frustrating. So let's get right into these mistakes and why you should not be doing these things when you're walking your dog. All right, really quickly, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. And if you are returning, I appreciate you just as much. Look right down there, either way, at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select on notifications, and that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's get right into mistakes you are making while walking your dog. And we're just gonna go with the top four. That's it, just the top four. You can get through them really easily, fix them, stop doing them, and have much better walks with your dog. All right, so the very first one we're gonna talk about, the very first mistake that many, many people are making while walking their dog is not letting your dog sniff. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a time and a place for training and training your dog to walk by your side on leash. And while I train people how to do this with their dogs, a lot of the purpose of walks to begin with is to provide your dog enrichment. And one of the best ways to do that is to let them explore their world, the world around them, their environment. And sniffing while on a walk lets them do that. It, there's always something new. Even if you're walking down the same street, you walk down all the time, there is generally going to be something new going on, something new for your dog to smell and pick up a new story <laughs> for the day, possibly. Enrichment in the form of letting your dog use their nose is incredibly powerful. So even if you are in training mode, even if you are working with your dog to train them to walk politely on a leash or walk closer by you while walking on a leash, don't spend the entire walk doing that. Train that for, you know, work on that for a little while let your dog sniff, go back to working on it for a little while, let your dog sniff, and always end on a positive note. So definitely make sure that you are working with your dog and not against your dog. So let your dog sniff. Okay, so the second biggest mistake I am seeing people do all the time while walking their dog is ignoring your dog. So if you're taking your dog out for a walk and you are, you know, checking Facebook or Instagram or you're t just on your phone texting or maybe you're on a phone call or whatever, listening to music, listening to a podcast, whatever it may be, you're not paying attention to your dog. You're not in the moment with your dog. And that is a huge, huge mistake. Walking with your dog is a bonding experience. And if you're otherwise occupied, you're not spending that time with your dog. And is really a shame because this is a really critical bonding time, bond, bonding experience for you and your dog. And I can only imagine how your dog is feeling because you're not paying attention to them and you're not in the moment with them. And it's like, why are you here with me if you're not gonna be with me, right? So let's stop being on your phone and actually be in the moment with your dog. Also, if you are otherwise occupied, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what it is that your dog is sniffing at, if it could be dangerous. You don't know if, you know, your dog has just walked up on a skunk or some other animal, a, a snake maybe that could bite them. You don't know if, you don't know what's going on. You don't know if there is a person following you because you, you know, maybe a not so nice person following you because you're not paying attention. You're not in the moment. So get in the moment, get off your phone and pay attention to your dog. So the third mistake people are making, and this kind of is, is very similar, but trying to multitask while you're walking your dog. So maybe you're trying to make a list of groceries that you need to buy, or um, you're taking a phone call, or I, I don't know, anything you might be doing at the same time you are walking your dog, again, you are not paying attention to your dog. So all the same rules apply. If you were trying to multitask and get more than one thing done, walking your dog is the most important thing at that moment. Get in the moment with your dog and walk with them 
and be very intentional about it. And quite honestly, get, use this time to reset your own brain and your own mind and take the time to let your brain process things. You're going to find that by, you know, every day giving your brain time to actually relax and process things, you are actually going to be more productive. So let's stop multitasking, put our phone down. I understand if you need to take it with you for emergencies, put it in your pocket, pay attention to your dog and what is going on with your dog. Be in the moment with your dog. You and your dog are going to be so much happier. And the fourth mistake that so many people are making while walking their dog is choosing the wrong harness or leash or collar. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I am absolutely 100% against attaching a leash to a collar. It puts entirely too much strain on the one of the most sensitive areas of your dog, which is their neck. There are veins and arteries, their trachea and esophagus and their vertebrae in their neck so much can be damaged so easily. Do not attach a leash to a collar. That is my personal opinion. There are lots of veterinarians out there who see tons of trauma to the neck caused by collars. Also, and, and this is just a personal, something that happened to me personally in my life, but one of our dogs, Gracie, she was a Chihuahua. She had collapsed trachea and while it may not have been caused from a collar a lot of dogs do get collapsed trachea from a collar and pressure being put on them from a collar with a harness you want to make sure it fits appropriately that it's not chafing under the arms but that they also can't get out of it right so the fit is incredibly important and make sure you are using the right leash. You're using a four to six foot leash. Some areas um, of the country, the leash laws are four feet. Some areas at six feet. Uh, I think, you know, anywhere between a four and six feet leash is good. Oh, just a regular old flat leash. Do not use a flexi lead. Do not use, you know, one of the like, like I did a whole video on it. I'll link it down below. And absolutely do not put a shock collar do not put a prong collar on your dog. I'll also link that video down below. I don't wanna make this video too terribly long, but um, yeah, I've done videos on those, so I will link all of that down below. So a harness with a four to six foot flat leash, that's what you need and make sure the harness fits your dog well. So those are the top four mistakes that I'm seeing people make while walking their dog. And I really hope that you no longer make these mistakes after watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure you post them down below. Also, if you have any comments, post those down below. I would love to hear from you and make sure to check me out on Patreon. It is the first link in the description of the video. I have tons of exclusive content over there as well as a chat set up. Over on Discord, you get lots of, there's so much there. I have a video, check the link in the description, support me on Patreon. It really helps my channel to grow. It helps me bring you new and better content. So I hope to see you over there. Make sure to check all the other links in the description as well. If you don't know, I am a dom trainer and I do have an online course as well as an ebook that you can get your pretty little hands on and it will definitely help build that relationship with you and your pet. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some tips from it. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. I can't wait to hear from you. Make sure you do also give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, look right down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, make sure you click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Again, make sure you are checking me out on Patreon. Completely exclusive content that you're not gonna get anywhere else new content going up there weekly and four different tiers. So pick the tier that best suits you. I can't wait to see you over there and I will see you our next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.